first practice then. Yeah. <laughs> hey! <laughs> You have to have a drink. <laughs> hey, well done. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> I gotta kick the ball in the net now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and a sprint finish. <laughs> Showboating. <laughs> You're such an idiot. I missed the goal! <laughs> I've been awful for the goal! Ah <laughs> oh, well, never mind. That's good fun, that. Okay. <laughs> I'll get Jeff to do a rundown on the two bantams. Oh, yeah. The goal's right foot. Yeah, oh, you want to do a rundown? Yeah, we'll do it in a sec, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> There's, uh, this is the shiny bantam. And this is, and this. And this other one here is the one that's been left close to the as found condition. It's all completely reconditioned, but uh, it's been left in the sort of closer to the as found condition. And I'll get Jeff to just give us a little rundown on, you know, the, the differences and the salient features. I'm not a motorcyclist, but I've, I've, I have driven both of these around this field today, so I've had a good bit of good fun. Do you like the old pop pop horn look? <laughs> That's funny, isn't it? Can you see it go? It goes through the headstock. Right. Go on then, Jeff, give us a rundown of the shiny one. The shiny one is exactly the same as the other one, except I've rebuilt it fully to how I wanted it to look. So it's got alloy rims, which are nice and easy to keep clean, stainless spokes, the later fork bottoms, so I could put the smaller. Oh, yeah, were they called axe bit, head or something? Axe head fork bottoms, yeah. Yeah. So I could put the uh, slightly later D1 front mod guard on, which I think is a lot prettier. Yes, I think so as well. Sometime in the 50s, it had its original spun aluminium headlight change for a Lucas one. Oh, yeah. Way back in the midst of time. Um, the RAC badge is original from 1949 when it was put on. And so, oh, uh, well, on this bike? Yeah, that one. Oh, well, cool, man. Um, so yeah, that, that's the one I was given as a pile of junk yeah. and restored it to how I wanted it to look. But that was the chap round the back, was that it? That was Charlie round the back here. His wife made him clear the shed out and Bloody get hell. rid of all that old motorbike test. But what did it look like, Jeff, when you got it? I've got some photos, Marcel. Ah, got yeah. Got photos of it. I found them out the other day, strangely enough. It was in one piece, well, you get... but completely brush painted all over. Well, what I do, I'll get Jeff to dig out them photos and I'll, I'll cut them in now.
that one was bought as spares to build that one up but it was so original and so complete was this the one that was um, reported stolen reported yeah. stolen uh, yeah because it had been left under an allotment bench since 1967 but mechanically um the crankcases were damaged where the chain had wrapped around the cog and all that oh all yeah alloy welded and machined oh and yeah done that. made sure the brakes worked replaced the forks because they were really worn um made sure new chain new sprockets the electrics work and that's it really just left it as it was uh, but now rideable yeah. it's even got the original tires on it when i had it really? I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know how street legal they be or Look what age yeah. they are but they're john ball deep grip john ball deep grip you can't argue with that can you no. <laughs> the one on the back the old good old avon skid master mark <laughs> avon skid master one for the classic tyre fans. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they're just a bit of fun, you know. It's yeah, they are a lot of fun. They're a lot of fun, but Christ, they've gone up in value. They're, they're, one lot that would fetch about three grand, the same for that now, because of the pattern. Ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it's amazing, but, isn't it? But then again, you can have a... But how even how then much you... fun can you have for three grand? <laughs> well, yeah, a yeah. lot. Yeah. Um, I remember Jeff, you had to repair the frame, didn't you, down there? Oh, down there, yeah, that was that, that all there. Had all to this here on. was completely shot, so yeah, I had to I make up that, new, yeah. a new boss piece in the middle and weld it in. Yeah, and I remember that. Do all that, and now it's great. It's That's really um, a gear indicator there. That's right, yeah. It's got, she got the transfer on the other one. Oh, okay, yeah. Because originally they had a little transfer on. Yeah. How on earth you managed to? Oh well, you wouldn't see yeah. that, would you? I mean, no, not what you're riding on. No. Well, I don't think so. Would you normally have had the fuel pipe loop round like that, no, Jeff, or is that a modern no. thing Originally, to... it was a piece of brass that come off there, one loop and straight onto yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, with today's petrol and all the crud and that, I'm yeah. like an inline filtering, so... Yeah, nice one, yeah. Plus with the vibration, they're prone to crack, <laughs> the old brass ones. That's an aftermarket edition the stoplight that's just so it's safer on the road yeah didn't have that on oh the yeah tour. yeah that was, the that original, was it yeah that was the original light that yeah. was it no no stop filament oh and it only yeah. worked when the engine was running oh christ so if um, you run out of petrol on the dark you got no light <laughs> cool. Cool. thanks jeff that's all right that's great mate yeah good fun So there you are, Jeff's Bantams, smashing little bikes. Great fun. Much better from this side, you know, Mark, as well. Do you think so? I like it, yeah, because you've got the exhaust on this side. Oh, yeah. It's in the shade, though, isn't it? I don't know if yeah. the camera can pick it up so well. No, it's all right. The beauty of these as well, Mark. <laughs> Yeah. Turn round so you can carry on the, the sunny side. Yeah. On the sunny side, the sunny side there. there so. Yeah, nice. There you go. Like Jeff said, that's the that's the side of the that's exhaust. It's got side. a lot of style. I think they're great little bikes. I really like it. I like this one because I do. I also prefer the slimmer mud guard, front mud guard. But um, personally. I like this one because of its originality and uh, the that patina that we all cry out for these days because I mean there's my truck in the background look patinated anyway those are the Bantams and uh, this is a field and what they do they do come out they set up this uh, bit of fun thing with the Gymkhana that uh, some of the his Jeff's motorcycle club members can uh, come and have a bit of fun riding round. All right, I'm going to have another go on the bike now. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, Jeff's going to start this one up now. Oh, there you go. All right, don't overdo it. I'm going to have a go on it then, Jeff's going to film me. And when you don't press any buttons Jeff, hold it at this end where I'm holding it. There? Yeah. There. 
Here he goes, off in second gear. I don't think he's going to attempt the uh, course. <laughs> I thought he was going to attempt the course then. Uh, looks like something from The Great Escape. Bit bumpy there. <laughs> Doesn't he look like something from The Great Escape? the distance never to be seen again. Oh there he is. Enjoyed yourself though. That's it. You only give it a little. Hey, you got the feel for neutral as well, yeah. look at that. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I think it's a story, but <laughs> Yeah, always a bit wary. There you go, go. stop the engine as well, it's all gone quiet. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. There you go, Mark, here's your camera. Okay, hang on, I'll just put it on the stand. You do, you'd be no good with the Panther, I could no, tell you that. No, no, petrol, petrol. <laughs> There yeah. you go, mate. Lovely. Thanks, Jeff. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> That's brilliant. I love it. I'm going to have to get one, ain't I? So there we go. That's the old Bantam there. I really enjoyed that. Thanks very much, Jeff. My mate's driving me truck. <laughs> go around again, John. Go round again! Go, Go round again. again! Oh, it's a bit smoky. Yeah, yeah. I can't believe how quiet it is. I just said to Jeff, the only thing you can hear are the chains. Say again. Three point nine litre. Pretty handsome actually, I love it. Leave it running John. Leave it running. Leave it running. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to go? Go on. Well, do you want to go round with you? I'll tell you what the hell it is. It's a nice heavy flywheel, you know, you can just virtually just ease the clutch up as it's sitting there, yeah. Is <laughs> that the original bumper on the back? Nah, farmer special in it. Yeah. Why pay for a towage when you can bolt a girder on the back? <laughs> yeah. Tell you, that's a decent piece of angle line, that is. I love that truck, it's ice, isn't it? It is, yeah. Remember you? You had the red five years, mate. About 
Go round again, go on. Clear your legs. <laughs> He looks good if he just does a complete drift over there. I find he's like a professional uh, stunt driver. <laughs> drifter. <laughs> yeah. Drift all. Still get crossed by. Nah. Have, um, have well, have special run flat tyres called eight ply. Yeah. <laughs> It does look great, does it? Yeah, it's a great looking truck. You don't often get a chance to film it in this sort of thing. No. Either, you, so. you don't very often get the chance to see your own vehicle being driven. Yeah. I don't like that creaking on the front. It's very Yeah. Thank you. 1941. Yeah, 1941 that is. Look at that, 80 years old now. Yeah. 80 years old. Yeah. 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 Yeah.